don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? A yes. few conflated and confused things is going around about the situation. So let's talk about them. Three days ago, me and my family went to Sweetly Season Food Truck. Number one, nobody had any idea we was coming. They found out we was in Dallas like everybody else found out we was in Dallas because we was posting videos in Dallas. So in hopes of us coming, they had t-shirts made and they was on live all day. So me and my family went in cahoots with none of this. We was all under the impression that they were a team and this was a normal routine for them. The barber being there, the braider being there, family being there, a lot of people being there. This is our first time here. We are customers. We have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. Number two, I was never under the impression that haircuts was free. Again, my family was watching the lives. We knew that he was cutting hair for $40. So when we walked up and I said, I want to get $1,000 to the barber to do free haircuts and $1,000 to the braider to braid hair, it was because in the original video, the son said it was slow due to marketing. That's marketing. God willingly, after we post a video, there will be a line out the door. If there's a line out the door and there's a barber and a braider doing hair while people are waiting, that's marketing. So again, it's in a hood. You play some music, you cutting hair, you braiding hair, y'all all sitting out, y'all having fun. It's a parking lot barbecue. So again, we don't know the behind the scenes if they knew each other, if they didn't know each other. And the reason why I didn't pay everybody individually, the interaction that you see looked longer than what it was. It was really only like a five minute interaction. Within that five minutes, 30 to 40 people pulled up. They was pulling up in droves. That parking lot was getting deep, fast. And for me and my family's safety in general, I don't ever carry cash around. And nine times out of 10, if we tip, we always do it through the POS system. And even if we wanted to do it a different way, Zelle and Apple Pay wasn't an option because it was four or five people at the same time on live. So for safety reasons, they wouldn't be able to say their phone numbers or their personal information out loud. And as far as them taking my phone and putting their number in on Zelle themselves, I wouldn't hand my personal phone to nobody. So the POS system was the option that made the most sense. I've learned through this journey that sometimes it's deeper than the food, it's deeper than the marketing, it's deeper than the customer service. And this is one of those cases in my opinion. Sweetly Season got a lot to figure out and I thank God in advance that they do figure it out. The last thing I'm gonna touch on is the sun is misconstruing something that I said and I don't appreciate it. After I said out loud in detail what we deemed the money to be used towards, I also said y'all can divvy it out how y'all feel necessary. Meaning after the money hits because it's a POS system, it don't hit the same day. Y'all can send it out through Apple Pay, through Zelle, through Cash App, through Check, through Cash. However, y'all feel necessary to spread it amongst the team. I thought and I still think that that's a very clear statement, but it's being misconstrued in my opinion, intentionally misconstrued that I said in the mom and the son can say who get the money and who don't get the money. <laughs> So Keith Lee did tell her to distribute the money how she felt necessary. I never said that. Regardless of what was going on behind the scenes, I felt on my heart to do what we did. So for the mom to go on the back end and disregard where my heart was at and what I felt like God was telling me to do in that moment and distribute the money how she felt necessary is 100% wrong in my opinion. I see the memes and I see the jokes, but I am not in the business of shutting businesses down. Her actions did not sit right with y'all and her customer base. That resulted in the situation that she in today. We just ate the food and left a tip. I pray in advance that everybody in the situation stays safe. That's my biggest concern. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. God bless you. Have an amazing day. I'll be safe. To be okay, guys, let me explain the video that you just saw. Keith Lee visited a food truck called Sweetly Season. Prior to him going to Sweetly Season, um, actually, they reached out and asked him to come. So he did oblige them and he did go to Sweetly Season. What he is saying in his video is that he left a $4,000 tip. When he left the tip, he told the owner exactly how he wanted the money allocated. Okay. And this is where all the shit hit the fan. So if you guys have been following social media, it is now stated that this woman's food truck is now closed down. All because she decided to keep the entire $4,000 tip for herself. Boy, this is crazy. Um, so I want to get into a few video clips before I wrap this all up and we come back for our combo, our, I can't, I'm sorry, our final commentary. So let's get into these video clips that's coming up I'm next. I'm hurt or more disappointed by what happened. Like and therein lies the problem. You're talking about what you think he deserves. Who the fuck are you? That man was out there and he dictated where his, because let's be clear, that's not y'all money. That's his money that he tipped. And he dictated where those tips were supposed to be going and where, how it was supposed to be allocated. Period. You're mad because your name was not mentioned in that number. So you stole the sister and the brother's tip because you felt entitled. That's you and your mama's entitlement. The craziest part is you have caused all this drama, you and your mama, by being thieves. When y'all could have just went back in y'all business today and been 
10, 20 bands up just off of selling product. But the greediness in, in y'all would not allow y'all to do that. And now y'all reputation is ruined. Y'all trying to prove a point with the next person money. And that's what makes it crazy. And y'all also trying to play God saying who worthy and who not. When y'all not worthy. That's why y'all losing it. I was going to close down early. It was like three hours and no one came. And no one is going to come. You ruined your business, your name, your face. When people see you, they're going to know you as this, the lady who couldn't split the tips. You had Keith Lee and Ronnie praying for you, praying over you, and this is what you did? God clearly doesn't play about Keith Lee or the Lee family, and you get what you deserve now. I decided to talk about it. Sweetly season. Did y'all hear? I heard her business was, com was permanently shut down. You mean to tell me you let $2,000 come between you and success? You was blessed and taken down all in the same day. It took less than 48 hours for Dallas to, baby, don't play with us. But let's be clear. I don't want nothing bad to happen to the lady. You know, I really wish her the best. I hope this is a learning lesson for her. At her big age, she should have already known better, but she didn't. But you blocked your blessing for $2,000. Just go sit in the corner. Good morning. Let's talk about it. Sweet Lissy. Give that barber a thousand dollars for free haircuts. He should have said, anybody, come on. Who wants their haircut for free? Come on. Then he would have deserved it. Then that would have made him with me. Because now you're helping me. You're shining on me. This man was not with me. Before we left, we went and had a conversation with the mom. And we thanked everybody for having us. Me and the mama prayed together. And we left a $4,000 tip behind. God, it's amazing. I appreciate y'all for having us. I see y'all giving out haircuts and doing braids. So we want to leave a thousand dollars to the barber so we can cut everybody here for free. We want to leave you a thousand dollars to the hair. We want to leave you two thousand dollars. Yeah, that's it. So see, you charge my barber four thousand dollars and y'all give me a hire for y'all for your hair. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Hey, you Give them so as the lady stated in the video, they was blessed and cursed in the same day. So they asked for Keith Lee to show up. He showed up, I mean, with a $4,000 tip. But instead of her taking the $1,000 she gave him, she took the entire $4,000 and then started saying how the braider and xyz did not deserve these tips as if she was paying the tips i'm so not understanding this lady so because she chose not to give them the tips she showed the world how disloyal and how dishonest she is if you guys go check out their reviews oh my god they lit up their reviews um so this is just this just goes to say that when you are not an honest person and you just you just you you just not honest all you had to do was give the people the money that he gave you to give to him instead you took the money and then wanted to argue about that you felt like they didn't deserve it that is just so crazy to me because you wasn't giving it to him so because she chose to move like this they're saying this Dallas location is just done. Um, and I just wanted to talk about it because, I mean, I heard people talking about it, but I didn't know how severe it was. Obviously, I know, you know, Keith Lee does the food thing, but, you know, and I heard about the tip, but damn, I didn't know she had literally just stole it. And this is so sad to not take responsibility for your actions but to try and come up with another way to to make your damn right wrong um so this is this is just a disaster um you know to ask for someone to show up to your restaurant because i mean when keith lee shows up and say the food is good it just does something to the crowd so this could have been a good thing for this lady um and her son but it it turned out to be a nightmare because it was what they did. Um, and that is exactly what Keith Lee stated in his video. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Did y'all hear about this? Did you Do you follow this story? Um, I would love for you to share your thoughts in the comments. So we will talk about this in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. 
and make sure you like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have not make sure you enable your bell notifications so you do not miss out on a video